Hey guys, my name is Miss Ricky Lynn and you're going to be seeing me around the front office with Miss Heather. We're super sad we can't see you this year for orientation in person, but we felt best with COVID that we do a virtual. This is also what our state recommended. I'm going to go over a few things on the list that you will receive in a packet from your teachers. It is just a couple of rules and guidelines that we need to follow for Georgia Pre-K to make this year fun and exciting for everybody. You should have received a piece of paper of required documents that you need to turn in to us. If you are not sure of what those required documents are, just stop by the front office and we'll take care of that for you. If you do have the list and have not turned in all of your items, please get them to us as soon as possible. Um, for Georgia Pre-K, you will have a drop-off time beginning at 7.50 a.m. You can drive through the car runner line and the teachers will get them out of the, out of the car for you to bring into the school. We are asking that you stay in your car as much as possible, again, due to COVID guidelines. We are just trying to avoid all of the foot traffic. It actually makes it much easier on your sweet baby if you just let them out at the car on our line. I know that seems crazy, but it really helps. It just gets them in that routine and keeps them from crying. That may happen. They may cry on the first day, the first couple of weeks until they get adjusted and that's completely normal. We will love on them. We will do everything we can to make it a smooth transition. The car rider line um, in the evening to pick up is going to begin at 2.45 and end at 3.05. If you sign up for aftercare, you can stay until 6 o'clock. It's 65 a week. If you're not signed up for aftercare and you're late, it's a dollar per minute that you're late after that. I know that seems silly, but we have a minimum amount of spaces, and we just need to know who is going to be aftercare and who is not. Um, there is not a specific dress code. We do ask that they do not wear flip-flops, chunky heel shoes, cowboy boots, um, things like that because the playground equipment, they could have a tendency to get harm um, if they slip with those kind of shoes on. Again, before and after school, we're open from 6.30 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. And you could be here from open to close if you wanted to if you pay the 65 per week. We will still provide this if Georgia Pre-K is out. If you need it and Georgia Pre-K is out and you are not signed up for aftercare, it is 30 per day. Please make sure to fill out the meal count sheet that we put into your packets. Um, that is, We don't need your um, information as far as what you make. It is just to say that they are going to eat here. You do not have to put any of your income information. Please just sign the sheet for us and return it. Um, let's see, bear with me. Let me check a few notes here. As far as what your uh, student will need to bring here, all you need to bring is a sheet and a blanket and that is for rest time. It will be sent home with you on Fridays to be washed and brought back. And then a change of clothes. Uh, we always like to keep those on hand if there's any accidents. Other than that, you do not have to send anything in. The teachers are gonna send a folder back and, home with you, back and forth home with you that um, will just have some artwork and just different things, newsletters, stuff like that, that you'll be required to bring back and forth. But other than that, that's all you have to bring. As far as holidays and birthdays, they're gonna look a little different due to COVID. We try to let parents in as much as possible. Right now with COVID, we do still have the guideline that parents cannot enter the building. Um, until we lift that and that is just for your safety and our safety and the children's safety with the rise in cases our parking is very limited please do not block the front entrance um there's a sign there that says do not block if you have to come in for anything please just park in a parking spot and come in um stacy gerard and the lumping county sheriff's department does ask that you do not enter on the salem church road um it is unsafe it's a one lane road and it just causes a lot of traffic jams if you will just enter on the side coming off highway 9 um it will make it much easier if you ever need to get in touch with us or your child's teacher just give us a call in the front office send your child's teacher an email that is usually the quickest response they are going to check their email then get back with you. Um, if you do not hear from them, just give us a call directly here at the center and we'll help you with anything we can. Again, uh, we do ask that you do our food program sheet. Um, if you need to bring in food that is not provided here from the center, you have to have a doctor's note. And that is because our state requires us to have a doctor's note. 
So you can bring in st stuff such as if you're allergic, you can get a doctor's note and you can provide food. We are a nut-free center. If you provide anything for birthdays, if you provide your child with a meal, just make sure it is nut-free. Again, you're gonna get this packet of information from your teacher so you can read over every single word that's in it. We just wanted to touch base, let you know that we're excited to get the school year going. Um, and we look forward to seeing all the sweet faces come Thursday. Please let us know if you have any questions in between. We are here to help and we wanna make this transition as smooth as possible. Thank you so much for trusting Dahlonega Country Day with your sweet baby.